Welcome to Lauds, a morning service of prayer and praise. Satisfy in the morning with your steadfast love, O God, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Praise to the blessed and holy Trinity, one God who gives us life, salvation, and resurrection. Let us pray. We give you thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our lives and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Scripture reading for this coming Sunday is from Ephesians 1. In Jesus, all of God's plans and purposes have been made known as heaven and earth are united in Christ. Through Jesus, we have been chosen as God's children and have been promised eternal salvation. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasures of his will, to the praises of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed upon us in the beloved. To him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of our transgressions according to the riches of his grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure that he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time and gathered up all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. In Christ, we have also obtained an inheritance having been destined according to the pleasure of him who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will, so that we, who were the first to set our hope on Christ, might live for the praise of his glory. In him you also, when you have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and had believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance, toward redemption as God's own people, to the praise of his glory. You have been born anew through the abiding and loving word of God. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation. For the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness, For the gifts of relationships with others. For the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern the nation of the world, for the people and countries ravaged by strife or warfare, for all who work for peace and international harmony, for all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction, for the Church of Jesus Christ in every land, O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. 
Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we will go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.